There are so many advances when it comes to tools with AI to help you stay ahead in coding, productivity, your day to day. The thing is though, if you wanna stay ahead, compete with this really competitive market, you need to know about these tools and be able to use them. And they're changing so quickly. So I managed to gather the top five tools for productivity, coding, to really help make your life, well, easier. We're going to dive into them and I'm going to provide some real world examples. Some of them are so cool. I mean, one, the first one we're gonna go through will literally take a screenshot and turn it into code and it works really good. Like we're gonna test on really complex sites. All right, before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, AI, all of that good stuff related videos. Leave down in the comments what video you want to see next. I left down four options so you can go vote on what topic do you want me to cover. All right, let's get to it. All right, the first one I really wanna cover here is called Screenshot to Code. And surprise, surprise, it does exactly that. So let's go ahead and let me record my screen here. Okay, so this is a tool I've been playing around with for a while and I recently stumbled across it. I think it was on Dev2 when I was just going through different articles. I thought, no way this is possible. Like just literally taking a screenshot and it converts to code, that's pretty cool. So I tested it out and it does work. I mean, obviously there are a few different um, it's not perfect, but it definitely is getting advanced quickly. Now you can also see here, uh, it says generating what it will generate to. So right now we have it to HTML and Tailwind. We could also though do React, Bootstrap, Vue. It's pretty cool. And then also too, you can choose what model you want to use. So for now, let's keep it at this. And now I have in a second tab here, opened Masterclass. And I actually haven't tested this one out. So let's see how this works. So let's take a screenshot. Go here. Uh, it kind of cuts off the text, but it's okay. And let's input it here. So it's scanning. Please subscribe. Ah, okay, one sec. I gotta, I gotta log in here. Okay, we are back. Now it is <laughs> officially I'm logged in, paid. I'm paying for these services for all of you to see if it's worth it because I love you. All right, so let's go ahead and see. We can see it's still generating. Kind of cool, you can see it's literally generating code in the side. Um, so let's see how it does. It's also really cool that you can see mobile version uh, and the code as well. It's still going. Here we go. At work, it's coming, it's coming to life. We need like a, what is the game show thing where it's like do, 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 do. All right. This is pretty good. Okay, you can see here, this is pretty cool. I don't know, this kind of blows my mind. Maybe I'm alone in this. It's, I mean, it even generates AI images that kind of look like the screenshot. Listen, it's not perfect by any means. The images are not on the side um, where it is in Masterclass. If I go back to Masterclass, so this carousel here is now down here. But the concept of it and where it currently is at to give you a template to further build upon is pretty cool. So you can see here, if you go to mobile, it has a mobile version. And then also too, you can see the code. So no one is saying that this is perfect, but it definitely is a great tool to use. If you see some UI that you really like and want to focus more so maybe on the backend side of things or even take the existing UI and build on top of that. I think it's brilliant and it's pretty cool. I mean, it does cost some money, so it, I would use it on a, per project basis, but I mean, I think it was $15. I, nowadays a coffee is like $5, $6. I don't know, how much is a coffee for you nowadays? But it's very expensive, so pretty cool. Okay, next on the list is REPL AI. And honestly, if you are not using REPL to begin with, First of all, what are you doing? Second of all, their ghostwriter, I think it's called ghostwriter. I use it all the time. Let me find it here. My REPLs, this is gonna be so embarrassing. I'm just, we're being very transparent here, let's see. Um, why did it say two months ago? Is that the last time I used it? Eight months ago? So much for using it all the time. I swear I've used it since then. But anyways, let's see what this is. This might be scary. This looks kind of scary. This is like a, yeah, this is like a test. Okay, let's go back. I use REPL, just as a side note, I use it a lot because it's one of those things where if I just wanna start building right away, it allows me to do so. I don't need to set up an environment. I can start working in different languages. Like it's super user friendly. So for example, let's go create REPL, Python, just create a new project. 
and it will take you to a new project. You don't need to do, set up anything else. So it's super fun when you're just wanting to, you have an idea or you just wanna like kind of tinker around with some code, it's perfect for that. Now what you can do is say we want to, um, let's go to their AI. So you can see here, REPL, REPL, REPL it. It's my struggle forever. AI, use REPL to set up new projects, answer questions about your code and assist your thinking. So let's do generate a personal assistant chatbot and see how this goes. And I really like it because I find with Replit AI, when I am building and, and kind of wanting these code snippets, it is always there. Like this is the number one AI, in my opinion, that I find to be super user friendly, super accurate for what I'm looking to produce. And it just, it's really good all around. So let's go here. You can customize a response, da da da. So I don't think this will run. I haven't really looked at the code yet. We're just doing this together, but let's see what happens if we run it. So it's not running. What did it do here? Generate. Yeah, we want to use this. Okay, here. Let's try. Now we have just built a personal chatbot. That's so cool. So what does it do? You, if user is equal to exit, goodbye. Put the response, all right. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Okay, so let's go, um, hi. How are you? Bye, um, let's do bye and then we'll say bye too. Okay, so this is a very simple example, but you get the point. I mean, in what was that, like two seconds, we were able to generate the basics of a chatbot. Obviously, there is a lot of work that needs to go into that. We're not saying otherwise, but it's a great place to start. And this is something that even if you're working on, say, a project at work or a bigger project, you can take some of that code if it's a work project, maybe don't take the code. But if it's a personal project, you can take it, build in REPL, and then take it out and build locally. It's just super handy. Um, this one as well, though, is, I think I pay for it, actually. Um, or maybe AI, no, the AI is part of the free version, which is good. So a good free AI tool for coding out there. Okay, coming in at number three, this one isn't necessarily a code generator, but for all you people out there who are looking to start a business or work on a personal project, which I think is all of us. Uh, this is super interesting. So this is called Namelix, and I recently stumbled across this one. I haven't heard too many people talk about it, but what it will do is you can enter in some keywords about the company you want to build or the business you want to build, and it will generate different business names. Now, if you haven't had to come up with a name for a product or a business before, you're probably thinking, Tip, that's so lame, like who cares? Naming is one of the hardest things you will have to do. So let's do something for cats. Let's do cat, fuzzy, warm, cozy. I don't know. I don't know where these words are coming from. So select a style. Let's do, um, let's just do auto, all styles. Randomness, let's make it medium random. And all right, let's do this. No, uh, no, let's just do total. And we can check domains too, which is pretty cool. Generate. Initial, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak today. It's going fast. Let's see. Whoa, Marmalade Cat. That's really cool, actually. Warm mug. So you can register a domain. So what would that domain be? Let's see. And it generates different kind of logos, like what it could look like. like this is pretty cool. You can't tell me this isn't cool. It goes so quick too, like, I mean, it's really, it makes you get so creative, which is pretty cool. Logos, um, you know, we just did, wait, where is this tab here? Here we go. Soft Whisker, Cozy Cat, Meowsies. These are good. So yeah, this is really cool. You can get really creative with it from finding domain names for it, it creates logos, and then also to obviously creates different business names. This is a really fun one. Okay, the next one on the list, I know these are all, you know, better than ChatGPT, but this one is a ChatGPT plugin, but we need to talk about it. It would be such a miss if we didn't, which is Whimsical Diagrams. I don't know if you've used this before, but if you haven't, you need to get out of under, what is it saying? Stop living under a rock because <laughs> this is incredible. Now this really changed, honestly, my, my workflow, my day to day, when I think about projects, when I think about coding, even if it's something non-related to coding, it is so helpful. So what it does is you can literally uh, visualize different architecture or diagrams. So let's go here, visualize chat GPT architecture. 
and it will generate this architecture for you and break it down for you. So it's super user friendly, especially if you're into system design, if you are into, even if you're a business individual, being able to, or product manager, being able to understand what the developers are building, this is huge for you. All right, it's being a little bit slow. Speed up this part of the video. All right, you can see here, this is what they generated. I mean, this is pretty high level. You can get ask it for more details and it will get very specific, which is awesome. I also wanted to show you yesterday, I was making a video on WebSockets on my, for my uh, Instagram and TikTok. So I'll show you what happened here. This was really cool. So a simple sequence diagram illustrating a WebSocket connection. This is a better example I find because it's a little bit more detailed, but this is really cool. You can ask it to create diagrams for anything. You can view or edit the diagrams. And if you go here, click in whimsical, um, you can literally just kind of like move it around, which is so cool if you ask me. So anyways, this is a plugin and it is super useful. I'll link all these down below, by the way, so you can go and uh, check them out. Okay, the next on the list is Claude. And this is a more popular one. I'm sure you've heard of Claude before. I love Claude. I've been using them for so long. And I, since they're specifically, since their latest release with their new models, it is incredible. I think they are really blowing uh, a lot of other chatbots out of the water when it comes to the coding responses and quality that you can get from them. So yeah, Claude is another really great one. And I wanted to include Claude because it's not only good for coding, but if I'm going to write content captions, if I'm going to write emails, Literally everything, Claude is my go-to. It is my one chatbot that, right now anyways, I rely on heavily. So let me know if you're a Claude user or not, because I love them. All right, we just went through five really incredible tools. I'm curious to hear, have you used any of these? What ones will you be using? Leave in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure to go leave in the comments your vote for the next video. All right, thank you all so much for your support, Your love your excitement for my videos. There is nothing I love more than creating content for you. And I just love that you are so supportive and just always show up for me. So I always try and show up for you as well. Okay, that was so sentimental. All right, bye everyone.